She loves to sit in here. Look at her. So I think I'm gonna create a Google form. Your room that you're having dilemmas on, what room it is, morning guys welcome back to the vlog it is friday and um <laughs> we need to run an errand we need to run a target because there are some um like things that we need for the nursery uh that i forgot to order or i i don't know i just kind of like was like last on the list it's like we need a mattress for the crib <laughs> need that uh we need a sheet for the crib we need like a changing pad we're, we're, we're getting the things that we we need to use and things like less decorative stuff so i don't mind um getting the good ones from from target it's fine i think i have an appointment uh, actually since we had a high risk ob appointment was it last week God, all my weeks are running together but since we had that appointment and we checked on the baby and I'm feeling him every day, this next appointment with just my doctor is just virtual. But I want to ask her, I've been eating bananas, but I want to ask her, I've been having like calf, Charlie horse cramps if I stretch. Um, maybe I need to, I was thinking maybe potassium would be good, but it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe magnesium is what I need. I'm going to ask her if there's something additional that I can take to help that. It hurt so bad, you know, like temporary hurt. We're gonna run to Target, get some things. We need a few groceries too. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna work on the nursery all day today and tomorrow because you guys are gonna see it. You'll see it already by the time you're watching this. But um, yeah, the only thing that I have been really, really struggling to find is a light that I like in the length I need it because I do need it a little bit long uh, so that I could like kind of swag it back to the position I want. It's been a little bit of a struggle. We'll see, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, that's the one. This one had the good reviews on it. Oh, why am I sleep on it? It sits on top of that, on top of the dresser. I saw some that like you like them when they like roll off. This is when they one upstairs and one downstairs. So we'll get this one. Oh, good morning, guys. It has been a few days. I spent every day between running to Target to get some, you know, just some like last minute things just in person instead of ordering online. And yesterday, working on the nursery. It looks so good. <laughs> so far, it's not completely 100% finished because we're still waiting on our curtains, our Roman shades. So those are gonna take four weeks. I'm still looking for a few things. Obviously we had a total like fail with the dresser that we already had which we wanted to try and reuse but it's just too big so we're looking for another kind of like changing station and storage situation i've been looking online and i found a couple that i liked then they're like discontinued <laughs> they, they don't make them anymore so i'm still i'm still looking I, I did my like online research and stuff um but we're gonna keep looking until we find the perfect one because we have time but I mean, the majority of the work is done in the nursery. I mean, all the beadboard detail, all the painting, everything. Obviously we got the crib and the overall vibe is totally here. We have our rocker. We just need a few more things. I'd love to find chandelier. Still looking, especially with like those types of things um, because I want something like, I guess more vintage and more unique. It takes time to find that stuff. So that's why I wanted to start the nursery makeover when I was feeling really good, you know, in my second trimester when we still had a lot of time because I knew my energy would probably, I mean, not that I know, but as I've, I've heard, my energy will slowly start to kind of like get lower and lower and lower and I'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's going to be harder and harder to do the things that I really wanted to do in here, but it looks so good. I, I um, honestly, I can't even really remember when this had all of that storage here. You know, it was just like a wardrobe, which I'll put in a before and after because it's like, it's so drastic and it's so cute. Oh, we love it. I love that Romeo and I did it together. 
because that's major. Like he was so, he's always usually pretty involved in my projects. He's just like not on camera, you know, or he's, you know, just like from a commentary, like kind of thing. Like he'll, if I ask him a question, if he likes something, he'll obviously give me a really like solid constructive answer. But this, he was like so excited and he's still looking for stuff. Like he wants to find um, a telescope, like we mentioned. Uh, we th were thinking about putting another like little table a little table here on the side uh, for like water and to set things down like the bottle or something on the side with maybe a little lamp. Still a little bit of things, but the, like the design is here. I also got some sheets that came. I had to order them online. Muslin cotton sheets and a mattress cover for the crib mattress. I got them on Amazon because in store, slim pickings. Like what happened to all the stores? I think I said that in the, in the video, in the main channel video. So if you haven't seen the video, I'll leave it linked for you. Did they all close down because everyone just buys everything on Amazon? Like, it, is that what happened? Because like, I feel like there were so many stores that you could go to when I was a kid, besides like, you know, like a Target or something that had like lots of options and stuff. And I just was racking my brain. I literally could not think of a single place where you could go and actually take something away. Not a showroom, not, you know, something like that. But today my mission is to clean up the aftermath. If you know anything about me and, and you've ever done a DIY project or a renovation section in your house, you know that that room or that area gets really, really good and perfect, but the one other area in your house gets destroyed because you've got tools and extra supplies and just things. So this, this part isn't horrible. Kind of moved stuff out of here because I needed to get in here with like the furniture. Let me show you the bathroom. That's too bad. Every tool and all the, like the supplies and stuff <laughs> to the bathroom, to the bathroom floor, literally on the floor. Um, because I didn't want it to go too far away from me in case I needed a tool. So I didn't want to put it back until I was, okay, I'm like completely done now. I don't need that screwdriver or that drill or something like that. So we have to put this all back where it goes. Problem with that is that all of my tools are stored in the garage and it's raining again. But this time was not as bad. We did not have any flooding issues. We were also very prepared if it was gonna happen because we kept the sandbags down. Also, if you guys have been hearing me complain that I don't have anything to wear, I don't have anything to wear. <laughs> like, I have been living in sweatshirts. The belly is really growing really quickly now. I feel like every day it's like getting bigger and bigger and bigger but still small, still on the smaller side, but it's it's definitely there. So I definitely cannot wear any of my pants. I actually went on Pinterest and I found some inspiration pictures for outfits with baby bumps. And they're still pretty casual because that's how normally I like to dress. For every day, I like to be comfortable and casual, but cute. I took a few and then I tried to thrift those items on ThreadUp. So big thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I ordered some items to fit these outfits. So we're gonna try on some new outfits. I'm gonna show you what I got because I felt like even if it wasn't specifically maternity wear, ThreadUp has tons of options. And if you haven't heard of ThreadUp, they're an online consignment and thrift store, the largest one actually. They have tons of new arrivals. They have things all the time. And can you imagine how much maternity wear is out there because you only need it for a certain period of time in your life and then you don't need those items anymore. Can you imagine how much gets sent to thrift stores? I felt like I should have been shopping like this all along instead of just buying pieces randomly. Like go ahead and make outfits first or look for an outfit. Let me put on the first outfit and let's see if we accomplished the inspiration. <laughs> Okay, here is outfit number one. So these are all the elements that she had, but I will say that this particular dress has a little bit more of a yellow um, pinky undertone, and I would probably wear it with the other one that I got, but this is the one that I bought it for. So if I put on my glasses and I wear my purse, is this cute? Rate this outfit. <laughs> I really liked this dress though, because you see how it has like the pleating. I felt like this with a growing bump would be like perfect. It's from Banana Republic. It was 73% off. So it was originally 110, I got it for 58.99. This sweater was from French Connection. I got 74% off, so it was 31. Okay, here is outfit number two. This is the closest jacket that I could find. That one is pretty camel -y colored. 
Uh, so I couldn't find that exact one. I'd probably just make it go kind of like rolled like that, like to the back. So there's not like that tie here. This dress underneath was only $13.19. The jacket I really wanted because I think it's really pretty. I just need to like steam it so the wrinkles fall out. This was 77% off. It was originally $458 and I got it for 102. Okay, and outfit number three. I just have like black sandals on. I actually thought when I was shopping online that this was more black instead of blue, but I like it too. I felt like this outfit would be perfect for going into summer. And this little cardigan was only $17.99. So overall, I found some really good deals. I also got a few things that I just liked. I love wearing fleece quarter zip jackets when I walk. As I was shopping for these pieces too, I favorited a ton of items. So you can click the link in my description box to shop those two, shop my favorites, and use code McKenna for an extra 35% off your order. Shopping on ThreadUp is such a great way to reduce your fashion footprint and just have fun with your style. And maybe if you're like me, you can find some Pinterest, you know, outfit inspiration ideas and shop that way. I feel like it's so, so helpful. I also got this and this is very cute. <laughs> I love a fleece jacket. Romeo is back from running errands and stuff and he asked me if I was hungry and I said, yeah. It is stopped raining now, so oh, we're gonna run and get something to eat. Then we're gonna come back and work on all the stuff upstairs. She loves to sit in here. Look at her. She's so precious. Do you love that chair? Do you love it? <laughs> okay, really, this isn't that bad. This is like an easy fix. We also have tons of like little baby things. We'll obviously wait and get a little closer to baby's arrival and wash them. You know, baby, baby safe detergent kind of stuff. For now, I mean, we just have like some that we got for Christmas from my family. Some that <laughs> we saw that we bought like with little, little onesies, little stars on them. And we also have some baby things that we've started to get that I need to organize into the closet. So I really wanna order like some, get some hangers, you know, so that we can hang some stuff up that he's not gonna use until like later. Some are newborn, but some are like three to six months, over six months, I think. I'm gonna start putting all the tools together so I can put them back in the garage. art in here that we need to put into the garage. That's really the only thing left besides some like pillows and things that I'm leaving up at the top because I don't think that we'll need the space right away. Also the crib that we got is, I mentioned in the video that it's a three in one. Uh, so it'll transition from a full crib with a high front to a bed with like side pieces that come down so that I think when the, the baby's like young and transitioning into like a full like day bed so that they don't roll out. <laughs> That's what I'm assuming. I didn't read too much into it, but if it has sides and just a little space for him to like step out of. So we bought the converter kit for that, for have the sides. Then I think after that, this is what this pole is and it just turns it into a day bed. So this was the extra piece. And I feel like we'll just like keep that and the, the converter in here when we're ready for it. It'll just kind of be in the back of the closet. Tripods, lighting, a whole bunch of stuff up here.
morning, guys. The sun is finally out. I so hope that this flooding rain is not why you live in California <laughs> at all. Uh, sun's out. It's it's I, I we do have a swamp again, <sighs> but whatever. Anyway. Moving on. So I spent the morning looking over all of your comments on the vlog that I posted where we were talking about uh, the next steps for like the podcast and just like what you guys want to hear, what you want to see, what would be helpful aligned with like what I kind of enjoy talking about because I feel like it, it needs to be like both. Okay, we could go like more of like a business, you know, conversation route that I do enjoy talking about um, or we could kind of have that sprinkled in, but also do more of like the design where I help you guys with design dilemmas like I did. I was talking about like something I did in like 2020. So after reading all of your comments, I like resounding, I knew that having like uh, an outlet for you guys to send in your like struggles in certain rooms of your home or with design in general, and every home is so specific, having a outlet that you can send in those dilemmas and we can kind of talk about it and I can build out an episode like a podcast episode around that particular topic and align it with maybe something that I'm working on. Um, I thought about like, oh, we're, you know, we're going to get into the kitchen, you know, design and renovation and like all of that type of stuff. And we could have like a whole kind of like kitchen conversation where you guys have like, like certain issues or certain dilemmas in your own. And it was kind of starting to flow. Like I was like, okay, I like, I like this. I, I think that it could, it could work. And I just think I need to work on really articulating why I would do a certain thing versus why I would do certain things differently. <laughs> if you watch the nursery makeover, the layout that I had planned in my head didn't work out. It was like the furniture became like larger than life. And what you didn't see on camera that I happened off camera was me spiraling and being frustrated <laughs> about, no, it was supposed to be this way. And like having to pivot and having to change like where the furniture was positioned to make it work actually worked out. It just took some problem solving and me sitting with it and stepping back. But I've never had someone ask me like, okay, why doesn't that particular layout work and so he asked me when we moved in he was like why doesn't that work and I was like my response was it doesn't it's no it's a no it doesn't and you know so it was like oh I should probably get better I was frustrated at the time so I don't think thoughts were coming clearly about because I was so sad that it wasn't working out I need to get better at articulating those types of things so that I can be as helpful as possible in these design dilemmas for you guys so I will work on that. I do think like saw so many of your guys' comments about like you love when you when I walk through like the problem solving of some things and seeing when certain situations like that, like a layout didn't work out and us trying different ways and why this particular one works better for space or flow or like visual like lines and stuff. I was like, okay, this could be kind of fun and a, pla a platform like a podcast is a great place to have more of those longer form conversations where problem solving and talking through something like makes more sense. So that's definitely the direction that I think that we should go. And I wanna incorporate those you know, types of things and talking more about like style and achieving a certain style. Maybe that's specific elements that you can incorporate. I screenshotted a lot of ideas. So I want it to be really seamless and easy for you guys to submit your dilemmas too, or just your topics that you'd like to see. It would be more of a submission form rather than an email where, um, you know, it's kind of like a correspondence, like a back and forth. So I think I'm gonna create a Google form where you have, you know, you can put in your information about your your room that you're having dilemmas on, what room it is, or maybe it's a topic that you just want to see on the on the podcast and it can kind of walk you through so that when I go in, I can actually see them all together. Um, and I can even see like if lots of people asked about like a specific thing, I can kind of group those together. So I'll pop up the form on the screen so you can kind of see what it will look like. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description box of pretty much all of my videos. I'll just kind of like leave it permanently there so that you guys can always like refer back to it. So if something I was working on kind of like like stimulated idea for you, or if you have a new dilemma that's just kind of come up, you won't have to like go digging for the link to kind of submit something for the podcast. That's gonna be super fun. Cause I feel like I needed something to get me like excited about like starting to, I needed a direction, you know, when, you don't, when you're kind of lost, 
it's kind of like my own <laughs> dilemma. Like it's it's kind of lost in terms of like what's next and what do you want to do with it. And um, I was kind of getting like a little bit discouraged and this kind of like rejuvenated like and, and injected more life back into, you know, what I want to do. So, so today, since it's sunny, I'm going to get all of those tools put back. I brought them all downstairs. They're ready to go into the garage. So that's really good. Got the whole upstairs clean, which is excellent. So my project is like put a pin in it. I'm really proud that I finished every little detail up until this point. So now we can just wait for our curtains and things. We can find a few more items. Don't forget to check out Thread Up and maybe find some new inspiration for outfits. For this season, you can get an extra 35% off with my code McKenna and shop my favorites by clicking the link in the description box. Definitely check that out. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday for another vlog. We're also going to be heading to Texas just to, for a visit from my parents. We have some dentist, dentist appointments. Kinsley has some dentist appointments. She needs her teeth cleaned. You know, we're just getting some stuff done. And then we'll be back. We'll be working on the kitchen. I'm so excited about the kitchen. Are you excited? She doesn't care. As long as her treats have a place, she's good. Mm.